Georgia yes, sir. Yo, it's so good to be back home in Atlanta. I got three days off, so all I'm gonna do is just chill out. I'm gonna go look, I'm gonna go look at the back of my alley. <laughs> oh, we, we don't have any time for that, guys. Nobody's going home, nobody's gonna lay down. We got a radio station visit, we got a book signing, we got a rehearsal for Lobarachi too. Oh, no, no, no. Man, we just had a long two weeks on tour. I'm surprised Larry booked us for so much here. Low ain't gonna like this. We got a comedy club tonight. Y'all serious about that? Yeah. I'm not doing no Club, I ain't think so. What y'all talking about? I thought you was just playing. I thought you was teasing. Yeah, you no? didn't say no. I didn't say anything. Right. So I booked it. <laughs> I've always joked around about wanting to be a stand-up comedian. I had no idea that Larry was going to take me seriously and book me a show tonight. I'm not in a funny mood. I'm tired. Right, we got to head to the radio station. Well, let's get something to eat at least first, Larry. Yeah, please. Uh, we can do that. Why? As long as it's on the L.A. Why? diet. I don't need a diet because I'm not out of shape. This is just the shape I'm in. Before there was CeeLo Green, there was the Goody Mob. And now that I'm on top of the world, we can do whatever we want. Boy, what's happening? I don't know it. No, I know it. The beautiful restaurant. It's a historic landmark here in Atlanta. It's right in the middle of our neighborhood. We grew up here. Hey, mama. Ooh, we. Good old fashioned southern cooking is a huge part of my life. Can't you tell? Don't forget, guys, we got to stick to the LA diet today. I can't let you deny me of the pleasure of fried pork chop and gravy. It's sacrilegious to be on a diet in Atlanta, and I ain't about to be blasphemous not today. He's going to do the baked oh, chicken, Lord. the carrots, and the steamed. Green beans. Wait a minute, Larry. Now, wait a minute. Now, I love you and I trust you, but I, and I and I respect you a lot more. But I, I need what I need. I want a pork chop, and that's fine. Do you understand me, young man? That's great. I'll tell you what. I'll get the pork chop. I'll cut off a little piece of the pork chop. You're gonna have a taste, and you're gonna stick with the healthy food. Do you hear this man? This man gonna say he's gonna give me a little piece of his pork chop. Man. We need you around a little while. Come on. Wow. You gotta, you gotta you stay healthy. Man. It's not wise to come between CeeLo and his food, but when CeeLo puts his mind to anything. He can stick straight to it, even a diet. If I'm gonna be on a diet, if I'm on it, you're on it. Done. Damn, give your steak look good. <laughs> yeah, man, some good food. What I you got? I had a straw, man. I just drink all this goose stuff. Look. My brothers decide to sit here and eat in front of me. Everything that they knew I wanted to eat. I want some, bro. Stop it. I mean, how rude. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think we're a little late, guys. I think we gotta get going. We're about to do an interview at a station that helped launch our career. It won't load, man. We just gonna hang back and finish up. Then we'll meet y'all down there. Well, we go to an interview. It's a Goody Mob interview. In some kind of way, people want to know about CeeLo more so than the Goody Mob. They don't want to talk to us, man. Come Not on, today. Man. This is a Goody Mob interview for this new album. Let's do it. What you talking about? Let's go, man. Let's Come do on, it. Let's, Let's do it. This is 89.3 FM WRFG. My name is Karen Marie Mason, and I'm oh, grateful to have the Goody Mob here in the yeah, studio we'll live. CeeLo, you have had the crazy schedule. How have you managed to be able to kind of keep it all together? You know, I don't know how much of a choice I had in the matter. I wanted to do it all, so therefore, you know, you have to do the diligence, you know. So we're talking the book. The book. We're talking the voice. You no, know, we went to the radio station, man. This thing always happens, man. It seems like the person wants to just talk to CeeLo. And so, solo album as well? Yeah, I'm doing another solo album, too. Solo album. See, what did I tell you? So you're in the studio right now working on that, or how, do, how does it work? Well, you get the food Ho out. Hold on, hold on. We, oh, we're I bought this beautiful, man. Y'all didn't let me finish eating, man. I just brought my food with me. We, we're live on the radio. Excuse me. For real. <laughs> I'm distracted by the, the smell of pork chop in the air. I know he's not eating pork chops in the studio right now. This is a no pork chop studio. Yeah. Let's get back to, to, to the Goody Mob yeah. album. The Goody Mob album, uh, you know, everything is just, you know, so wonderful. I mean, like, to, 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 uh, to be together. Those and, are little uh, peanuts? You know. Excuse me. Yeah, I like the red ones and the green ones. I like m and Do you like peanuts? Excuse me. Oh, my bro, hold on. Can you hear me? I could hear you. I don't, I don't want to have to talk over the, the crunch of m and oh, I understand. Excuse. I'm getting a little distracted. Go ahead. The other guys are eating away and enjoying every minute of it. It was really hard for me to concentrate. You know what's healthy? The healthy, uh, part of being in a group is, is sharing, is caring. Right. They seem to care, you know, they've, they've got, you know. Does everyone know that we're live on the radio right now? Should, should we go to a break? What's up? This interview is going great. <laughs> At least I got to finish my food. 
I have some food. I have some kale and some spinach. I hate uh, vegetables. The vegetables hate me. <laughs> she ought to come to the comedy. You got a comedy yeah, show come tomorrow. come to the comedy show, cook up some kale, and put it in the pad, tub away, Com and come Comedy along. show? Mm -hmm. Who's doing the comedy show? Yo, truly. CeeLo? I mean, you know, I got a bit of a sense of humor. I had, I had said if I didn't do music, I'd try my hand at comedy, so. Well, why don't you give it a shot right here? You got a microphone. OK, here we go. Let's say. What's the difference between a snowman and a snow woman? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. I don't know. What is it? Snowballs. She didn't get my snowman joke. Come on, that's one of my best jokes. Well, on that note, yeah. Goody Mob, Age Against the Machine, thank you so much for being in the studio of WRG. Thank you, thank you right, so much. Right, all, right. All, right. All, right. All, right. all right, good. All right. All right. We got an hour. We got to get to the bookstore. We are going to do a book signing. We got it. It's on the schedule. Yeah. Yo, the schedule is killing me. I just want to go home and get some sleep. Let's go. Let's do that. That's what I'm broke. Yeah. Before going to the book signing, I wanted to go by my brother's barbershop simply to check in. When you go to the barbershop, everybody kicking the Willie Bobo. You gotta catch up on your own hood before you can get out in the streets and feel safe. Oh, hey. What's up, my guy? What's up, brother? Okay. Hey. Hey. Hey, ladies. Hey, man. Ladies, how y'all doing? Man, what's going on, man? I need to get cleaned up. Came over to check you out. Get cleaned up. I got somebody can take care of you right in the chair over there. Hey, sweetie. Hey. Good, man. Hey, man, I'm really excited about going to the little comedy club tonight, man. Uh, <laughs> Everybody at the barbershop is excited about the comedy show tonight. I can be fun around people I'm comfortable with. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going to say. Look, don't have your hopes up too high, man. I'm not no trained comedian, man. I try my best, though. I might need to try a joke out on y'all to see what y'all think about it. Run it. Run, 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 run it in. Run it. So I was listening to the radio, right? And there was a man on there saying, damn. Uh, no, what is it? Oh. Look at you. All right. He said, but it was a sure way to lose weight. I guarantee you come back and guarantee your results. Um, damn. No, I OK, here we go. I'm listening to the radio. There's a man on there say he got a brand new revolutionary way to lose weight. The man say, as crazy as it sounds, he uh -uh. say, instead of eating the food the regular way, stick the food in your ass. No. I'm going to need some help. Oh, boy. This comedy performance tonight could be a disaster. Hey, man, maybe you should just tell some stories about us growing up. It wasn't funny about the way we grew up, man. We grew up hard <laughs> out here in the street. I can't help it. When I be around family, I can't talk with a damn, man. Yeah. But when I be in London, boy, I be proper as a mother. <laughs> <laughs> I be like, hey, like so what, what'd you say you from again? I'm like, Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of them M&M's, boy. Why do you think? Ooh, damn, my little M&M's. I can't even have none. Sheila's not eating anything. Larry, 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 Larry. Larry, 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 Larry wait, 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 wait. Larry, you're, you're a white man in a black barbershop. Rephrase how you say that. <laughs> Just rephrase it. Where's the black man country club, now? <laughs> Larry wants me to be on a diet. Larry Mustel, I'm a grown-ass man. Kiss my fat ass. Guys, we got to get going. Larry, can we call over and see if anybody even buying this book? Because, I mean, really, I'm tired, man. We can postpone until the afternoon. I'd oh, Lo. <laughs> Lo, they've got a line around the block waiting for you. At this point, all I want to go do is sleep, eat, and chill out. Damn, Larry. It's the real back way right here. I'm running on empty today, you know, but meeting the fans, they give me that boost I need, you know? Hey, yo, yo, Joe, 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 Joe. Distract Larry for me right quick. Oh, psh, got it. Hey, hey, yo, yo, Larry, come let me talk to you, man. No, I was distracting Larry, man, because CeeLo was like, Joe, just take Larry somewhere over there, man, just so I can get a bite of something. You know what else gets my energy up? A snack. A real snack. What's your favorite music? The Beatles. Beatles? Yeah, let me just, that. let me just, hold on a second. I just want to see if Lowe's doing shit. What's your favorite? Really? By the dwarves, man. You gotta like that, man. Blood, guts, and oh, oh boy. Yeah, you gotta love that one. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Hot damn. Yeah. You know what's happening, bro? Me and Gip wrote a book together about the way we grew up in Atlanta. Now it was rough, but look at us now. I mean, living to fight another day. Hello, everyone. This is CeeLo and Gip. Come on up, guys. Hey, sweetie, you want me to sign this? Yeah. Hey, pretty lady, how you doing? I'm good. We do it myself. Hey, man, when people hear we're in town, my phone just starts lighting up. How you doing, man? Oh, man, my pleasure, man. Hey, yo, Greg, tell me yeah. I'm coming through that later on tonight, see? Tell me I'm coming through that barbecue tonight, man. He said you like white meat dog meat chicken. No, 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 I can't have any of that chicken, man. Sorry. No, he said he can't come, man. No chicken. Man, What's I heard, heard y'all went out, man. I had to meet y'all. Thank you so much. Bert P, man. He said they fried fish up at the rec tonight, man. So I'm going down there. Damn, that's not good. You know I can't eat no fried fish. You know I can't eat no fried oh, fish. Why you even tell me that? Larry scheduled everything so tight, we can't even get us some time to chill with some old friends. 
Hey, who says no to catfish? I left there. Hi, Hi dog. Here. How you? <laughs> nice and spunky. That's right. Give me some of that good energy, man. Jeezy needs you to come out of the studio, man. When we leave here, man. He wants you to drop a verse on something. Jeezy, tell, tell the homie, man. We, I mean, we'll try to do it another time. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Look, right now, I'm just trying to focus on my fans. And Timo keeps interrupting me, trying to put more stuff on my schedule. I was wondering if you could sign my t shirt. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if you're not too tired after you finish doing it at the comedy club, I don't want to do none of it. Seriously? How much can one man do in one day? I reschedule. No problem, man. I'm just trying to get it all in one day. <laughs>
It's time to celebrate. Mm -hmm. So check this out. Good. I'm about to take y'all to this under, yeah. under, yeah. underground yeah. club. Woo! I'm going to the club. Yeah. I know another little spot. What you say? What you got on set? But I got a better club to go to. I got the best club in Atlanta to go to. So we're interested. Let's go. Exactly. I'm excited. Ooh, where the liquor just flows. Oh! Oh! Follow me. Oh! 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 I don't know where we about to end up. Yeah, Ooh, let's party, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sorry, what's happening? Man, I thought we were going oh, to yeah. the club. Yo, we pull up at CeeLo's house, and I'm trying to figure out how do we end up here? What's That's up? That's right. Man. What's up, man? What's up, man? I thought we were here to the spot. You damn right we're at my house. I mean, I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do and what I need to do. Chill out and get some rest. Boy, it's so good to be home. <laughs> I thought we was going to Vanquish. We've been duped. Got a surprise for all of you. OK. So, so do it like that, man. Man, when CeeLo popped that trunk, man, he had food all in the back of the trunk. What is this? This, my friend, is the best after party going. You can't eat this. Oh, I can eat it, Larry. But oh, oh, oh. you can't eat this. No. Look, this is definitely not on our diet. I got M&M for the homies. My brother, thank you. All your favorite snacks oh, and mine. Yeah. When I see all this food, when CeeLo pops the trunk, and I'm like, look. There is no way Larry's gonna let CeeLo eat all this food. Don't you worry about that. I got a little something for you, too, Mr. Mustel. Now, I did some recon, and, uh... uh oh. And out of the blue, voila! Oh, oh pecan pie? Oh, it's your favorite. How did you go? We called your wife. Oh, no. This is the party I want to have. I want to kick it with y'all, kick it in the house, go to sleep, that's it. So, I want a truce. I want to go in. I want to enjoy some Funyuns. I want you to have this whole pecan pie. Oh, I want to eat. Too hard to I want to laugh. So, we got a deal. He's all of a sudden weakened, and a truce has been made. <laughs> you can't ask for a more perfect ending. I mean, we all got to hang out together. We killed the comedy club. It was a good night, y'all. Nothing but them good eggs. Why would we go and pay for drinks? I got drinks in here. And Larry, if you get too drunk and get too full on pie, you got to go to the guest house, because I heard you snoring on the plane earlier. <laughs>